Start whenever you're ready. What's that doing? Bah. <coughs> Today is November 8th, 2010, and this is Melvin's room. Uh, I come over here about three, four times a week to play blocks or listen to death metal, because I got some from my... D it's not really important. Um... Why are you wearing that costume? Well, that basically Halloween was last week or maybe the week before. I don't really know anymore. But I would wear my costume ever since. I dressed up as a witch with trick or treat. Did you get lots of candy? I didn't. I don't get the. Uh, I didn't go trick or treating because it's illegal. Illegal. My mom said it's illegal. She said that there's big kids out there that'll steal from me. Well, that happened to me. I had to give all my candy to the big kids. And then when I got home, my mom wouldn't let me have the rest of the candy. She said it would basically run out of my teeth. If it, but what if you, do you floss? If you floss, then your teeth are strong forever. forever. I'm allergic to floss. Oh, well, that could be a problem. The menthol makes me break out of hives. Then I get ulcers all along my gums. That's terrible, Melvin. Has that been happening to you for a long time? As long as I can remember. That's just this. Do you brush all daily? Yes, I brush down there. I'm gonna keep it clean. Well, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. So, have you have you worn this every day since that was a week ago, Melvin? I would wear it all day and all night to bed, even in the bathroom. What about to school? Yes, school too. I was just addicted to being a witch. I they don't let us cross dress at my school, and I don't know exactly. I don't know that. I think it has something to do with costumes, like cross dress. But I don't, so I can't wear. Uh, you can't wear any girl clothes at all. Is aren't witches girls? No, I'm the boy witch. Basically, it's a new super witch they created in the laboratory. How'd you find out about that? It was a comic book. What comic book? I don't even remember the title. <laughs> That's really disappointing. Uh, I sure would have liked. I sure would have liked to read that. Um, so my big. Really, what I wanted to ask you, I was, I was really curious. I was really curious. Um, you, you know how we have that math, that math class in school? Yeah, my go every day. Yeah, did, I. Uh, um, you know Betty. What Big, about Betty? Big Betty. He. I don't have a math book anymore. Where? What did he do with the math book? Betty stole my math book. He said that I didn't need to learn any more math unless I helped him learn math. But I didn't want to help him learn math because every time we go learn math together, he just ends up doing weird stuff on the internet. And I don't think I'm even allowed to be on the internet. And then he hits me in the head. Wow. Well, you should see what my neighbor does to me. Sometimes he takes me to the bathroom and shows me something. It looks like it's his snake. Does he have a name for it? My old, my, uh, my, my friend's big brother has a snake. His name is Bob. Oh, that's a funny question. His name was Bob, too. Does it have a last name? Is it like a person? Well, it sure talked to me, but it made an awful big mess. What kind of mess? Well, I think it threw up on me. Oh, that's gross, Melvin. Did you clean it up? Did he clean it up? Did it get on your clothes? Did you get in trouble? I get in trouble when I get gross things all over my pants. Well, he licked it right off, and it was clean as a whistle. That's, well, that was nice. He's a swell friend from cleaving his stay clean with such compassion. I can understand that. I can understand that. My mom gets really mad when I make messes in the bathroom. 
That's for sure. That's for sure. So I think the bigger. Wait, I don't know. Wait, how do I do my math? I can't do any math if I don't have my book, Melvin. Well, you have to do what I do. You count with your fingertips. Basically, you go one, three, and five. What about the other ones? They don't count yet. Why not? When do they count? My dad says they count when, when you get tall. That seems... Then why do we uh, Why don't you... Why do you have them then? It's to keep the magic fairy inside. Oh, they're plugs? Are there holes behind this? There's millions of holes inside of them. That's... The gnomes are telling me lots of things today. It must be a glorious day. Yours talk? Mine has gnomes inside. Do, do the gnomes have names too? No. <laughs> they don't have names. They have numbers. Like gnome one and gnome three? No. Just gnome one, gnome two, and gnome five. Okay. The rest of them perish to the gnome apocalypse. What's the... What's the apocalypse? The apocalypse for the gnomes was when I went to the bathroom one day and forgot to wash my hands. And the gnomes died. Oh, man. That, that reminds me. Uh, you know what else dies if you don't wash your hands? What? Angels. Angels? Yeah. I was... So, I didn't wash my hands after I peed like a week ago. Like a week ago, I went into the bathroom, I had to pee really, really bad. I was out playing with my friends. We were playing Gundam Wing. We were pretending we were playing swords. And I went inside. I had to go pee. I had to go pee really bad. So I went to the bathroom and I rushed out. And my mom stopped me and asked if I washed my hands. And I said yes, which was a fib. And then she grabbed my hands and realized that they were dry, and I was fibbing, and she told me that at least three angels have died in the last ten minutes since I haven't washed my hands. And I didn't know that was having that big of an effect on things. This is really wow. That's pretty tough. I've been holding that inside. Angels. I've been holding that inside for like a week. Well, I'm glad you got it out. Me too. It makes you feel better when you talk about all your problems. Sometimes it makes me feel really bad when I talk about my problems. I told my dad that I got a D in math because of Ben. <sighs> but he spanked me a lot. Ugh, I hate getting spanked. It happens to me every night at nine. Every night at nine? Once my father drinks his happy juice, he comes in and gives me a spanking. I've learned a lot, though. Yeah, sometimes it shows how much... My dad says that he only does it because he loves me, and I think that I can, you know, I feel that coming through a little bit, for sure, a little bit. I feel like that comes through a little bit in, betw in between the, the burn. That's why I go to church, though, you know. That's why you gotta go. That's why I have to go to church, and I'm gonna go on a mission one day. Cause if I uh, if I give two years of my life, only two years of my life to God, basically basically what happens is then I automatically get to go to heaven, even if I kill someone. Wow, I don't get that free pass. Basically, I have to go sit in Sunday school and draw pictures, and the crayons are always broken. And I'm I'm just tired of learning about Jesus. We don't talk about Jesus as much as we just talk about Heavenly Father. And the more important thing that I've noticed is that it seems like it's all the same guy. So if you just kind of pretend like you know what they're talking about, you don't have to read as much. Mostly all we have to do is learn how to sing really, really lame songs. And after we sing them, and we sing them, and we sing them, then we have to learn how to do them in sign language, even though nobody in my church is deaf. So the weird part is, is that we do it all in sign language in front of all these people at sacrament meeting, and then you don't get to eat any of the bread or water, and everybody else gets to eat it, and just because you're a little kid, you have to... I don't like going to church very much. I'm kind of just over it. Most, most of the time, most of the time, most of the time we have family home evening, three times a week. 
So I don't even know why I have to go to church, Melvin, because we do it in my house. Basically, I decided one day that I was going to form a church in my house. And I put up blankets, and I put up straws, and all sorts of fun little guys with And I had, basically, a big church. And I flag and clapped my hands, singing into the choir. And it was basically a really good time. My dad says that the only people that have a good time at church are black people. You don't look black. Oh, well, that's black all right. You don't look black, Rupert. I'm black. Melvin. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Go. What are we just talking about, Melvin? I get really sidetracked sometimes when it's so hot out. Sometimes it's messy time. My parents said it's alien abduction. I, I saw that. Are you sure that wasn't just on the X Files? Actually, I don't think about it was the X Files. That would make a lot of sense because my the mom truth watches is out the there. <laughs> The truth is out there, and I think the most important thing is that we know it. We, I tell the truth all the time, and that's kind of what this whole little thing is about. Coming over here, and we talk about the truth. We talk about the truth, and we think about the truth, and sometimes we do homework. Homework? I don't even know how to do homework. The last time I did homework was about an hour ago. And I'm done now, and I don't, I'm pretty pleased with that. Kind of like, you know. I had to write about apples on my homework. Cause, because basically, apples are my favorite fruit! Oh, that's what we should do tomorrow, Rupert. We should get fruit. And we should do this all over again, and maybe we could just, you know, exchange some recipes. Oh, man. I hope they'll make off. I think it's time for me to go. I can hear my dad calling me from all the way down the street. All right. You better get out of here, Rupert. See you later, Melvin. Later, Rupert. Now I'm all alone. Well. What am I going to do? My friend left. I'm all by myself. I don't want to go back yet! I'm basically, I'm pretty angry. I'm pretty basically, basically, basically. My.